Yo, Wild here. Okay, I need to talk about a couple things. Uh, one is a little bit about the video I made here recently. And the other is about a... And I want to say it this way, a weird thing that happened to me last night, uh, October 30th, if and you want to have the exact date. And I think I want to talk about that one first. So, I'll talk about it here while I take on these grunts. Because it was... That was weird, okay? If you don't know, YouTubers, especially PokeTubers, we do self-promotion through a thing called Wonder Trade, or Surprise Trade. Basically, throwing Pokemon out to random people with our channel's name. And I was getting ready to do that while technically shiny hunting, which I also learned uh, you cannot get a... Shiny, oh, what? Shiny Alolan Vulpix, that's the one I wanted. Basically, uh, no Shiny Alolan Vulpix unless you uh, are playing an Alola game. I did not know that, so thus I was trying to Shiny Hunt for that for a little bit. But I decided, hey, I'm done, I'm not going to do that. Went back to the first, first daycare I had, I'm sorry, I'm... Focusing a little bit here every now and then. But I went back to the first daycare I was using. And just for sticks and giggles, I decided, hey, why not take on a random encounter? The random encounter was a... <laughs> it was a freaking Galarian Zigzagoon. Okay. And here's the funny thing. Uh, this was the second Zigzagoon I had run into that whole day. And I was thinking, oh, it's just going to be a black and white Zigzagoon that I can quick kill, give a little bit of experience to one of the already hatched Pokemon. You know, give a fan something fun. Uh, I ran into a shiny. Yeah. And I caught it. With a critical capture, too. That I'm like, what the heck? And the weirdest part is, I named it Ray, and I then go through, and it has an achievement called The Parched, because I caught it in a really hot day, apparently. So now, I have a shiny Galarian Zigzagoon named Ray the Parched. I'm like, what the heck? I'm shiny hunting for a goddamn starter here. And I get a random shiny? Ugh. That just... That was impressive to me, okay? Ugh. Oh. Right, one of them I got poisoned. Uh... Let's see... Awakening... Icy... Hyper Potion... Elixir... Yeah. There it is. But, yeah, I was just, I found that one funny last night, and, yeah, now I take on Mars and Jupiter. And I'm back. Uh, if you can't tell, I just put this on two and a half times speed, because this fight was BS! Ugh. Literally, I looked back, and for just recording this part itself, including that bit I was just talking about, this was over 16 minutes of content. All mainly because this dang Munchlax constantly was using god dang stockpile and swallow instead of doing anything else. Yeah, you just seen it. Ugh. I hate that sucker. I wish terrible, terrible things to Barry's Munchlax. Okay? Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm using a little bit of a different background. I wanted to do something different today. Uh, and yes, this is a voiceover. All of this was pre-recorded, okay? So, I guess I should talk about that uh, last video I made. Yeah. Listen, I'm not going to get too in detail on it, but I made a lot of mistakes with it. A lot of them I didn't like. And to make it even worse... While editing, 
I made the realization, uh, yeah, I need to edit the video as this section, this section, and this section as its own spot, and then cut it all together. Instead of doing what I did, which was basically edit it all at once. Oh boy, that was a headache and a half. And after looking at it, I'm definitely thinking I am not doing a part two because that video was just terrible. And I know somebody can critique that, but I really think it was one of my worst ones yet. Especially for how much editing I did in it. It was it was not good, okay? That's all I got to say on that. It was not a good video. Yeah, so basically, right now, all we're doing now is watching me go through the battles at two times speed. Yeah, this is real fun. And to explain a little bit, Man, I really got to get this chair fixed. But to explain a little bit of why I got that shiny. And yes, I'm going back to that real fast. Uh, YouTube's doing a new thing called YouTube Handles. And to explain what those are, they're basically like, oh, hey, at this. You know, stuff like that. Which, that kind of helps out channels like mine. Because... Like I said, I plan on doing Wonder Trade to self promote. And the downside is my channel's characters are about 10 or no, it's 11 characters exactly. And unfortunately, the name of a Pokemon up until I think it was Gen 6 was only 11. Gen 8, which is the game I'd be, you know, doing all the trading in here as soon as I get it. Uh, guess what? That one upped it to 12. I still do not have the ability to do at or anything like that for really good self-promotion. So I passed around a bunch of, I want to say Poplios at one point, because I was, I'm doing the same thing, okay? I'm going to try to self-promote with Pop Leo. But I had a bunch of them, but I couldn't do anything with them. They were just blanks. But hopefully with this new thing, I can at least self-promote a little bit, get some views on this channel. Because that's the hard part I found with YouTube. It's not the making the videos, it's the getting your channel noticed. Because... Let's face it, what good is a video if in like this one? It looks okay to me, but let's face it, it's not going to do crap if nobody else notices it. Yeah, getting a little in depth there. And I did have to uh, cut right about here-ish. Uh, Turns out they did a nice little thing where they shifted from the top screen, which is what I've been recording on, to the bottom screen. And of course, I did an accidental face reveal, so had to cut that. And yes, this one is also running at about two times speed. I, I know I threw up the number, so whatever that one was, that's the correct number. And I cut this as soon as I started the fight with Garatina because I'm doing a normal playthrough, guys, okay? I wanted to try to shiny hunt a little. And then when I finally said, uh, nope, the dang thing did not want to get into a single Pokeball. I did catch it though, so noted on that. And yeah, this fight, this fight was kind of t tilting a little bit to me because of what happens right here. This was BS to me. Yeah, like, how does a Gyarados outspeed a Luxray? That, how does that happen? I don't know. Fortunately, when I was down messing around in the underground, 
I'll explain that one. Uh, I was looking for the odd keystone so I could get Spear Tomb. Uh, yeah, it turns out in Pokemon Platinum, you have to have a friend down in the underground to help you with that. And, uh, I don't have any other copies, so I was basically wasting a little bit of time. Oopsie. Oh, well, found a full revive, so that was nice. And that's what I used. And then the rest of this fight was just total crap. Couldn't do... I couldn't really do much to these guys, and I was grateful that uh, I did not... I'm grateful I didn't do a Nuzlocke. And I'm going to say it this way. For the next episode, it's going to be me taking on the League. And this... That episode will be officially the first time I have ever beaten any of the Gen 4 or Sinnoh games. Because I've beaten Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but I have never beaten a single Gen 4 Sinnoh game. So, yeah. And that's kind of why I decided not to do a Nuzlocke with this, outside of the fact that I said I am never doing another one. Because Nuzlocke's suck. Ugh. But, yeah. And, like I said, this is all just voiceover, so at this point, I'm just sitting here watching with you guys. And, yeah. Actually, as of recording this voiceover, uh, man, I gotta flip that calendar. Today is November 2nd, I believe. Huh. Sixteen more days until Scarlet and Violet. Which gives me exactly sixteen days to go out and finish this. So, that's fun. Training montage begins. Ugh, that's gonna be fun. You'll notice my team's level here when I get to the next gym, which... I should have that spliced in here in about another two or three minutes. Don't know. Yeah, like I said, I I am really grateful I did not do this as a Nuzlocke because this was BS. That's all I got to say on the matter. It was BS. Which, I don't know why I wasted a potion there when I know... Yeah. You could basically do that, yeah. I don't know. I'm an idiot at times. Oh, well. But I will repeat one thing I did kind of say. Uh, if when I do hit 20 subscribers right now, I'm kind of thinking of doing a uh, AMV, which is just animated music video. Uh, yeah, kind of thinking of doing one of those for when I hit 20 subscribers. You know, gives me something to look forward to. But, who knows. And, yeah, my... If you guys can't tell, I've been using the same webcam as I did back with the Ruby and Sapphire one. Uh, the problem with that is, sometimes the webcam likes to try to refocus. And this causes the blur. So, sorry about that. But, yeah... How much longer do I have on this thing? Mm, about another five minutes. Great. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm... This is new to me too, so... Yeah, real fun. Probably should have gone for the two and a half times, but... I decided not to. But yeah, this is basically what my team was back when I was trying to get Garatina. And I'm actually grateful... And kind of weirded out too because I caught it in a great ball a lot easier than I did with an ultra ball. Like, what's the deal? Is this Gen 1 or something? I don't know. But yeah, I cut it right here, so. Yep, now we're on to the next gym, which is Gym 8. I'm quick showing off. The Garatina, which 
It's quiet nature, so that's a plus special attack, uh, minus speed. Which is actually good, considering this thing is not going to outspeed crap. So, I have now basically got a freaking tank. And I did a practice of this the night before, just to make sure, oh hey, my Pokemon is high enough level. And outside of needing to rearrange my team a little, it actually was working out pretty good. So I'm like, okay, power off, record. So yeah, he brings in the Jolteon. And before what I had done is I had brought in Gabite. Or, yeah, I think that's Gabite. Uh, basically, I brought in my Garchomp to be. And for some reason, this Jolteon knows freaking Iron Tail. Like, why? Why does this thing no iron tail? It doesn't even have a tail. I don't know. So, yeah. I basically decided, okay, go in with Luxray and then try to chip away at it a little bit. And this thing gets two charge beams off with the boost. Like, really? That was overkill, man. But yeah, so in essence what I do, I kill off this and yeah, I had a couple of Moo Moo Milks left so I'm like, eh, quick save. Gives me something in case the thing got a crit, that was all I was worried about. Which, what is the accuracy on a charge beam? I want to, I want to double check that real fast, uh... Eh, I'll do that after. But, yeah, this thing lands so many, it's not funny to where I'm thinking, that has got to be at least 100% accurate. Because otherwise, I just got goofed. But, it goes down with this crunch, so, bye bye And, he then does something different. Before, he had brought in his Luxray, instead of bringing in the Raichu. Which, nice little benefit for me. Especially because, yeah, Gabite. So I was correct. Hmm. I don't know how, but I got very lucky with this one. Because, you've seen it, it just fired off a freaking focus blast and missed, which was very lucky for me. And, yeah, right here... This wasn't even a crit. Okay, this wasn't even a crit. And this thing is two levels lower. Like, how do you get that lucky with a shot? And fortunately for me, uh, the Luxray is a... Basically, it's freaking male, so that's good. But it also has rivalry for his. Mine has a... Uh, Intimidate, so that helps a little. But use the Intimidate, it helps. And what had happened before is I got to the Luxray, survived the hit, managed to fire off a dig that then killed me. Because the amount I just took out of it with my Luxray was how much health it had left when Gabite finished its attack. So, yeah. Outside of that, this fight went actually pretty easily. And no, I didn't speed this one up. This is actually the natural speed. Which I'm kind of grateful for because this fight was probably the easiest fight I have had in this entire video. Yeah, because you see it, it just missed a freaking uh, Ice Fang. And it had pulled that same stunt in the last round, but it lived in the red. I do not think the crit was needed there, but hey, every little bit helps. And next he sends in an Electivire. This was the only part of this fight that took a while. And you're about to see why. Because this... I don't know why he put freaking Quick Attack on this thing, but 
that got annoying very fast. And the weirdest part is that's all this thing kept uh, basically trying to hit me with was quick attack, quick attack, quick attack. And yeah, it does take three hits from Dig, but if it didn't have that Citrus Berry, it would have freaking been dead after two hits. But yeah. So this thing just takes a little bit. Outside of that, that's basically it. For soon, uh, oh yeah, it did take only two hits, huh? Weirdest part is I had recorded that this morning, so yeah. Tells you how much I remember at times. Busy days, busy days. <laughs> but yeah. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to level up Gabite to level 49 before I can freaking evolve this sucker. Reason why, I do not want to have to go all the way to 55 just to get one stinking move. That would get very annoying very fast. And before you ask, uh, no, I am not using the small ant one strategy of throwing him in the daycare and bike back and forth. Sorry, I do not have five hours of my life to give to that. I'll just battle trainers in the victory road and go from there. But, yeah, with that, uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, well, I think that's where I called it, so if you can, please... Hit the subscribe button. Uh, hope you guys will check out the end of this. And see you guys next time. And remember, be wild.